so next part, next part. So we talked about the main axis, the, the carriage here, so we can do the motor parts. Let's do motors. So let's get a bunch of motors and we can, all of us, put the little sprocket on the motor. And you put it down all the way on the motor and I'll show you, demonstrate with one. Okay, so you can use this as a spacer, but the idea is, so you've got these motors and, and their plug, which is good. So the one plug goes in here. It's fine, but you don't need to put it on right now. So we've got the, the pulleys. It's very simple. So it's a one, one little simple interim step. Put the pulley down and tighten down the set screw. There's a little, little Allen wrench inside it to the pulley. So take one. The idea is that we have to make the, the pulley align exactly with the hole that's going out of the, the pieces. So let's see what that looks like for the level. Yep. So we take the motor piece, which is this, and you know the motor piece by the one that's got the hole in it because that's where the pulley goes in. So if it were like this, the question is how deep does that... Oh, interesting. Oh, man. So that shaft should not be sticking out because when we mount this on a frame, um, that's going to be against the frame. Can you show that to the camera a little more directly? Thank you. Now, you see just a little bit of that shaft. We might be able to get away with it. We might need to grind it down at the end. Um, but that's, that's how it looks. And, and the way you know how deep the pulley is, just look down the, hole, down the middle of the hole, see if it's aligned. How aligned is it? It's actually pretty pretty good as is. So basically the idea was, so I just verified that if you just use that as a spacer, and I want you to use a spacer because if you put it all the way down, it might rub. So, so the idea is take one of these, just put the pulley on it, take the little wrench and tighten it down. So to tighten it, just go by hand, hand pressure. So you screw it, screw it in, hand pressure. Like that. And then at the end, I would just go with the other end where you get leverage. Because that gets you more mechanical advantage. Just just do a little more. Not too tight. These are tiny screws. So, so that's it. How many of these do we need? How many machines are we building? 18. Times how many steppers? Five. Five axes plus extruder. Okay. Right? Plus extruder, but the extruder gets a different thing. That's that's going to be a drive wheel, which is different. As the extruder is not driving a belt, it's driving this little sprocket, which is a drive for the filament. So it's different. So five of these, um, yep, times five, times 18, so 90.